aspirations, goals set in their eyes, going out of their college, all set to reach their dream destination, it, it gives me a lot of energy. I mean, I'm so happy and uh, thankful to the organization for having me back here after 10 years. It was in 2012, August. I was here in the same place with my parents for my farewell. After 10 years, I'm here in the same place again with my parents, with the addition of in-laws and my daughter, a small one. She's just three months old. With she's here. I could not deny this opportunity because I wanted to see the institute growing, the uh, and the connect with the MSRITNs, with all the students, with the youth. It's always a blessing I feel because you are the future of the nation. You are the one who can decide in which direction a nation should go, in which direction the society should progress. It's not the uh, you know regular talk that I'm telling today. I just want to be your uh, friend, not a, an IAS officer today who will give you preachy advices or tall advices. No, I am not going to do that. Uh, be happy. Uh, don't even take a lot of time of yours or give you a, a bundle of advices and uh, success mantra. No, no, I am not going to do any of that. I am just going to share a few experiences of myself with yours so that I can connect with you more and understand you better. So that is why I am here. That is the reason uh, I took this challenge uh, when I got an invite from the institution. I could not say no because of that only reason. So without taking much of time, uh, I would say you are at the doorstep of your destination now, today. Because this is the day uh, I started my journey towards civil services after my graduation. Before that, I was focusing only on finishing my graduation with the best what I could do. None of the days during my graduation I focused on civil services. I was with the only uh, goal that whatever I am doing, I should give my 100%. So I am pursuing a graduation in civil engineering. So I should do the best in civil engineering. Though I, I, I was in a position in which I could have taken any seat in any college in any branch in my CD ranking, but I was with the clarity of thought that I am going to do civil engineering degree and then only I will uh, chase my dream of becoming a civil servant. So during those four years of graduation, they say it is the molding years, that is the formative years where you uh, decide what is your destination, what is your dream, what is your aim and how you are going to pursue it. So during those formative years, I was only experimenting with my strengths and weaknesses. I was only organizing my skills, I was only uh, correct, trying to correct my weaknesses in which I could reach the destination as early as possible. This, this was what I was doing in all those four years. And uh, friends, it was not an uh, easy journey. Uh, you all were happy when Principal Sir shared that it is All India Rank 1 UPSC. It feels uh, something great in your ears and something awe-inspiring and all. But trust me, when I got that rank, I was not that overwhelmed. I was happy that, okay, finally my uh, you know, journey of uh, preparing for uh, civil services has come to end. Finally, I have got a rank and I have reached my destination of becoming an IAS officer. This was the, uh, you know, sigh of relief at that moment initially. But after that, for a month or so, continuously I was called for all the engineering colleges, all the district administrations in entire Karnataka to address to the students. That is when I realized the uh, power or the opportunity that is bestowed on me. When I spoke in each and every district and it, it is not just the urban Bangalore, it was in the rural hinterlands, it is in the remotest of corners in all the parts of Karnataka that I got an opportunity to 
share my experience with all the youth. So that is when I realized that we could inspire a lot of young generation to pursue their dreams, not just in civil services, any dream that they have got in their life, it is not that difficult to achieve is what they realized after hearing my story. So that is the day I got real happiness when somewhere in the remotest, uh, I went to Belga, some girl from Bailhongal, she came and said that she is going to pursue definitely uh, the civil services uh, examination because she said that from her, she had come from backward classes hostel to attend that function. She said that if she pursues her dream of becoming an IAS officer, she could get bus connectivity to her uh, village. She could ease, her, ease up a lot of problems that her village is facing at that particular moment. She saw a lot of opportunities how she can change lives of people in and around her village, her locality. So I was taken, uh, I mean, I was totally mesmerized by the way she spoke with the uh, conviction. She said that, yes, I am going to do it, irrespective of what it is. Uh, and she came from a very humble family and her parents were not educated. But still she was very, very uh, determined that she has to reach that particular goal. So friends, what I would say is that once you graduate from here, once you go out from the college, this is where the actual journey of life begins. Till now, we are under the protection of our parents and uh, we don't know how uh, food is coming to us uh, on our table, dining table and uh, we don't, really don't know what are the challenges that the society is uh, facing and here lecturers are there to guide us most of the time and elders are there. We are in a uh, kind of protected environment. I would say we are inside the cocoon. To give a best uh, example, we are inside the cocoon uh, of silkworm. Only when we try to break that cocoon and come out and start flying, then is the time we all face the speed of the wind against our flight. That is when we face all the other challenges in life. This is only a synergy I was trying to give to you. But that is when the real journey of yours, that is when the real challenge of life uh, starts hitting us. But trust me that journey is also very, very beautiful. I mean, it is not the destination which makes you happy. It is the journey which makes you happy most of the times. Even though when I stand here, I remember the days when I used to catch four buses from my home till here and then come all the way to the bus stop and start running towards uh, the classroom just in time to make it that so that I am not late to the class. So I used to travel from Kolar which is my hometown in the last semester. So I used to take this KSRTC buses then jump in Bell Circle then Hebal and then come to the Skuvampu Circle. It was a big circus but most of my studies were done in that buses all my graduation studies, all the civil engineering subjects, everything I have learnt in that journey itself, two and a half to three hours en route and going back. This, this uh, journey, even now I, may, I feel very happy. Not on the day when I got first rank in civil engineering and I was felicitated, I was feeling okay normal. But now when I stand here, that journey, that, that phase of four years, that makes me real happy. So, Whenever challenges hits you, I never thought it as a burden, I never thought it as a struggle. I mean, when you see every struggle, every challenge as an opportunity, that is the day you become a very good positive person and you make your life more beautiful. I mean, uh, we are bestowed with the life. That itself is a great opportunity. I mean, not many people are blessed with uh, living of 40 years or 50 years or 60 years, we don't know when is our life is going to end. But till the time, the number of years, number of days that uh, we are gifted upon, we have to make every day as, as though that tomorrow we are not going to see the sunrise. This is the last sunrise that I have to make the beautiful out of this 24 hours. If you go with that attitude, you will not mind the negativity around you. You will not mind the people who pull your legs down. You will not mind the people who will say, Are, tu to kuch nahi karege. 
तू तो कुछ नहीं करेगा तू आई मीन यू विल नॉट डू एनीथिंग यू आई मीन यू कैन डू एनीथिंग इफ पीपल कीप सेइंग अराउंड यू ऑल द टाइम देन यू यू स्टॉप बॉदरिंग अबाउट देम ऑल दैट नॉइस गोस अवे एंड ओनली द नॉइस व्हिच इज साउंड इनसाइड यू ऑफ बिकमिंग व्हाट यू आर और व्हाट यू वांट दैट नॉइस विल मेक ऑल अदर नॉइस अराउंड यू अ साइलेंस and you need not answer them only your success only your destination will answer them if you keep answering to every single body every single person who is trying to pull you down then we are not we and them are will become the same people so it's only the journey that makes life more beautiful so take it with the most best positive spirit in you and every challenge is going to bring out the best in you that is what i realized in the short career of uh, 10 years in my life so even when i worked as assistant engineer my day used to start at 6 am and complete at 12 at the night that is because i was preparing for upsc at that time so all my studies used to finish before my office time and after office time so but uh, that time also the challenges even now uh, as i said i was not happy but if i go back to uh, delhi where i was working as assistant engineer at, at that time and i remember those days those journeys of going to the class of giving the mock test and then coming back to the office sitting in the office and doing the design structural designs and then after six going back and again studying your uh, core subject of upsc and then winding up all those things and getting back fresh journey to the next day so this every challenge i mean it was a challenge but if you definitely accept it as an opportunity hidden inside it's going to be very beautiful so i would say just figure in your destination don't bother about what everybody else is going to say just listen to your inner voice what is that inner voice is giving to you and where is that you want to see yourself in the next 10 years next 15 years you should definitely have plans for yourself for every 5 years long term plan and short term plan definitely is required i'm sure you're going to be uh, in different diverse field not just in administration in every field whichever you choose definitely you should have plans for yourself and plan a or b for execution execution plans should be the perfect and you should factor in all the uh, possible uh, hurdles in it and possible alternative solutions also in it that is when the success is uh, assured success is definitely not crafted in one day it is a long journey and you should enjoy that is the uh, basic uh, experience that i wanted to share with all of you and once you are clear about your destination strive hard definitely and with all your determination and perseverance even if nobody is there around you if you are strong if you are dedicated to your path if you are committed to your path i believe in the alchemist philosophy all of you must have read most of you must have read uh, alchemist and the whole universe definitely conspires provided you are strong you are committed to your dream so that is one and once you reach your destination be kind be humble be be humane with lot of humanity only the human race has survived this far if at all human race has made this advancement in the life when compared to all other species one thing which has made us difference is the human intelligence and if it was only the intelligence we would have gone into extinction immediately after few years of our advancement but intelligence came with the values intelligence came with the morals intelligence came with the humanity so if you are kind humane and if you respect the feelings of fellow humans just think that everybody's story is different i mean we never know what other person is going through just we need not be a judge of everybody's life we can be little more kind we little more humble towards everybody because nobody knows what the other person is going through everybody has their own challenges in life so just be humble and 
to an extent possible make everybody others life more happier and society a better place to live and total a world a much better place maybe with your inventions maybe with your businesses what you do or in the service field whichever field you choose make the life much better for everybody so that is when we uh, derive satisfaction out of it uh, i have seen so many lives great lives great people it is not the money which gives you ultimate happiness of course a materialistic uh, bit amount of it is required to have our needs and comforts after that every luxury will not give you a pleasure that a non materialistic thing will give you a, a smile of a kid or a, or a blessing of an elder or anybody around you will make you more happier than anything anything else in the world i think so have a little tinge towards that also give as much as possible to the society so that everything comes back to you so at the end i would uh, like to quote uh, this you might have uh, read many of you might have read uh, paul kalan it is when breath becomes air uh, how many of you have read can i just know paul kalan it is when breath becomes air book has anybody read it okay if not definitely you can try it when you are low in your life when you think what is uh, it going on in your life so is it's a very simple book but kalaniti is a he is a neurosurgeon practicing in usa he tries to outline how he sees life when he knows he is going to die soon so that is, that is where he explains what accomplish accomplishments he has done in life what success is what relations are meant for what humanity is meant for he looks back in his life every moment that uh, he has experienced so if time permits you can just read that book the gist is that he starts living after that as though it's last sunrise in his life so he makes best out of it he forgets every negative aspects and totally a new human being he becomes so that is one way we can all become better is by knowing the experiences of great people who have experienced the journey in different manner so if you read 100 books it is that 100 different human beings experiences that we have read and their uh, journey that you have read so after that it is the wisdom that the book has given you and there you know what is good what is bad if you are in doubt if you are not sure what elders are telling what your lecturers are telling what your parents are telling then at least this is one opportunity that i have experienced in life go through the books of great people different uh, not just one uh, field select from wide diversity of fields select the people who have gone up and down in their life experiences they have penned down just go through it and that is where your life becomes much more clearer and happier so at the last if i don't speak a few words about my own profession then it won't i won't be doing much justice to the reason that they have called me here so civil services definitely it's one of the opportunity again i am trying to stress here that it is one of the opportunity not the only opportunity why i am saying is there are so many ways of charting out one life so when you want to come to civil services you have to have a clarity of thought why you want to come that is real thing that you have to really think on before coming to civil services definitely it is one of the brilliant opportunities where you get to work in diverse fields not just one field in uh, in the society you name it and you have an opportunity to work in that not just in india in abroad in various assignments in challenging ones in the most remotest corner of the rural india and in the most uh, highest uh, echelons where india is even represented and the most complex one like space technology and the most simple one like vaccinating the entire india or it so that is what makes civil services the most interesting career for the youth 
if at all anything that is there in the civil services, it is the diversity, it is the challenges that is there. You never know what is going to hit you in your career tomorrow morning when you wake up and go to your office. You don't really know that. So when you go there, immediately you become a problem solver. Immediately you know what is the problem, you try to chart down a solution to it, try to solve it immediately and try to... You will become a problem solver than a problem creator. So that is the opportunity in the civil services and definitely it gives an opportunity to make someone's life always better. And of course, in India, if someone wants to be here itself, so you can always think of this career, not just because of the points that I have said so far, but because of the career growth it offers to you also. It provides an in-service uh, opportunity to have pursue your higher studies in whichever university you want in abroad and you there is an opportunity to upgrade your skill sets always in your entire career. So that is why I want uh, some of you, whoever is interested, I don't know really how many of you are interested because uh, most of you would be seeing the reports, what comes in the media, reports what the uh, media is portraying. I know nowadays the social media is the influencer, not the good old days where the newspaper and other things is there but there is a lot of things happening in the social media you to know that we should take a uh, take it with a pinch of salt we should have that uh, equanimity principle while going through what is going on in the uh, social media so i would say it's a wonderful career to be here in the civil services if you want to uh, make uh, your career itself as a better one as well as to give some something to the society. That opportunity is always there in the civil services. So that is uh, all I have to say. I wish all the best to all of you, every each one of you in both your professional life as well as personal life. So a happy man, a happy person and the family is always a happy person in the profession. So, you have some issues in the family, try to settle it down as early as possible, give value to it more important than the thing in uh, the profession. So, don't compromise one for other. This is one thing for the ambitious ones here. The ambitious ones, always we try to give our 100% and try to achieve the maximum in our life. Try to be the number one always, but that should not come at a cost. Definitely not at the cost of your loved ones, not at the cost of your family or your dear ones or what you consider as the most dear to you, most valuable to you. This is one last uh, uh, key piece of advice that I wanted to give you as your uh, uh, co-colleague or co-student who have read in the same institution. I am sure you are go all going to make a very good in your careers. I wish a grand success in whichever field that you have chosen and uh, whenever you are out with all those laurels, please come back to the institution and try to give out something to the next uh, uh, generations that they are going to come. Definitely it is required. That is how an institution is going to be great. The alumni, uh, the lecturers, the fraternity, that is what are the pillars for the institution. So this, if you know the uh, Ramaya Institute of Technology has come a long way uh, from, uh, I mean, 10 years itself I have seen it grow like anything. Even before that when in 1960s it started, the alumni and other uh, dignitaries on the dais would be sharing that with you. But as a proud student of the institution, I would say it has come a long way with a lot of achievements and also, if possible, try to give in whichever field you are, try to give back to the institution as well as to the society. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Wish you all the best.